Hello everyone and welcome to Access 2013 How To. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video I'm going to show you how to add barcodes to your reports. So many of us are in an industry where we need to add barcodes because it's more industrial. Maybe we have parts that actually have little stickies on them that have a barcode uh, to indicate what that barcode serial uh, or what that part serial number is. Uh, or perhaps you have a sales order and on the bottom of that sales order for every item is an actual barcode to that item and that barcode tells the person where they need to go in order to get that particular item from a warehouse. Uh, or maybe there's just simply packaging. You need to do it for the postal service. You need to add some sort of special barcode uh, to whoever that parcel is being delivered to and they can scan it in and know what the contents are. So barcodes are a very big part of the industrialized uh, arena of business. So how can then we use barcodes in our access databases? How can we add these barcodes to our reports so that our different employees or different workers can know what the contents of something are or what the serial number is for a particular part? Adding barcodes to your reports is actually a fairly simple process. It's as simple as downloading the particular font that you need based upon your industry standard and then applying it to your report for those particular text boxes that print out those values. But there's one additional trick that I'm gonna to need to show you and I'll show you at the end of the video to make those barcodes scannable so that those scanners are going to know that this is a barcode and where to start and stop for each one of those values within that barcode. So without further delay, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my Access database for a small little example to show you guys how to add barcodes to your reports. Now this is gonna be a very simple demonstration. As such, I only have a table, a single table, with a column for the auto numbered ID, and then the actual values that we're going to print out on the report. And these are the values that are actually going to be encoded inside of the barcode. So let me give you a quick little description of what happens with barcodes. Essentially, all you're doing is you're taking this value, say this serial number, S1349H643, and you're going to take this value and encode it in a barcode. Then that's going to print out on our report as an actual barcode on the report, and then you could hand this report to somebody who has a scanner, and then that scanner will scan the barcode and interpret the barcode back into the original text, S1349H643. That person who receives the report, when they do the scanning, you can think of the barcode scanner as really nothing more than another type of keyboard that can only enter in on that keyboard what it reads or what it interprets from the barcode. But it really is just going to spit out wherever the cursor is on their computer, it's gonna spit out those characters that it reads from the barcode. So the whole process is actually very, very simple. It's just an encryption and then a decryption process. You encrypt it as a font in a report and then the barcode scanner decrypts that font and interprets it back to the original text. So to make this work, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is actually go out and get the font that we're going to use for this demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my web browser. And here I'm just gonna do a search for barcode and I'm gonna use barcode 39 font, okay? So you're gonna look for barcode and then whatever your industry value is, and you may be using 128 or you may use 39. 39 is pretty much the most popular barcode font that's out there. Uh, and most barcode scanners can pick up barcode 39 very easily. But I'm gonna use barcode 39. And in this search, I'm gonna see free barcode font code 39, not a demo, completely free. This comes from barcodesinc.com. And that's the link I'm gonna show you and demonstrate for you here in this video. Now this particular font is actually available to us for free by the author, Matt Welsh. He's made this barcode font completely free for both business and personal use. That's why I'm showing it to you. So to get the font, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download the code 39 true type barcode font. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my downloads folder. Let's go ahead and open up that folder by going to show and folder. 
And now I'm just going to extract the contents of the folder right to my downloads folder. That's perfectly fine. And now inside of here, we'll notice there are four files. Two of them are TTF files and two of them are text files. You're welcome to read these text files. They're about the licensing and such. But again, like I said, it's completely free for both business and personal use. For the two TTF files, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna right click on the TTF file and then select install. I'm gonna do that for the second TTF file now. And now it appears that my fonts have been completely installed, but I'm going to double check here by just going to Cortana and typing in font. And we can then see that we can go to the control panel fonts section. And if we scroll down here, we can see free three of nine is the name of our font. And I'm just going to double click on this and then show you the extended version of the font is just barcode like this. Now this gives you a pretty good idea of how big the barcode is going to be when it gets printed out. So we have all the way down to size 12, which is pretty small and would be really difficult for any scanners to be able to pick up, okay? You'd have to have a really great printer to be able to print out and not have any of the ink bleed over. So typically I recommend somewhere around the 36 is pretty much as small as I would say you should go. I have seen font 24 or 28 work okay in certain environments, but typically the larger the font size that you go with, the easier it's going to be for the barcode scanner to pick up on the code. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to determine what font size you want to print out on your report. I'm going to go ahead and close this and we've verified now that the font is installed and works on our computer. So we can go ahead and go back to our access database and I'm going to go ahead and open up the report. Now, right now, the record source for our report is just showing up the two rows of our table values table. So we have the ID and the values. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a text box. So I'm going to go to design and the text box. And in this text box, I'm going to change the font to our barcode font. But if I scroll down here, we'll see the free three of nine does not show up. And that's because we installed the font while access was open. Unfortunately, access will only recognize those fonts that have already been installed when it first opens. So I need to go ahead and close out of access and reopen and go to our barcodes database. And now I should be able to change the font to our free three, of, uh, free three of nine. Now you'll see that there's the regular version of free three of nine, and then there's the extended version. And I like to use the extended version because it's just the raw barcode. Now, obviously the font size here of 11 is way too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase this to 48. And I'm just gonna double click to resize and bring this over a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the label because we don't need that. Now I'm going to change the control source of the text box to the value that I want to print out as a barcode. So that would be the values column, okay? Because we're going to be taking the values from our values column, and we want those to be interpreted as a barcode. Now, if I just do it like this and just show you print preview, we can still see the outline of the text box. So we should probably go ahead and take care of that. Let's go back here. I'm going to change the format tab of our text box. And I'm looking for, there we go, back style is set to normal. Let's change it to transparent. And then the border style from solid to transparent as well. And then when we view this, we just have nice, beautiful barcodes. Now, something else I like to do with barcodes because they, they definitely have a variety in how big they can be. They can get pretty wide and they can get pretty tall. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change the can grow and can shrink to true on that text box. So it can grow or it can shrink depending upon the contents of the value. Another step I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make this a little bit more legible for us. And I'm going to add another text box here that will actually show us the value that's actually in the barcode here. So let me just make this nice and wide. 
and this is going to be using the same values column. So it's going to show you the value in this values text box as well as the barcode right above it. And then if we just print this, we can see we get the barcode and then we see the value down below it. And a lot of people have gotten pretty creative about this. You don't have to have, uh, you know, some, some people don't want that value. I just did it for demonstration, but you could certainly, um, you know, just center this. I think one of the most common things to do is center this and buttress it up right up to that barcode there. And I'm going to make this transparent again. So we'll go, it's up top here, here we go. So we're gonna change the back style to transparent, the border style to transparent. And we'll just see that this is something that you'll probably see a lot of is where it's just kind of centered and maybe the barcode itself is centered to make it look a little better. Maybe I should do that too. Uh, center, there we go, save that. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay, so that's probably something that's a bit more traditional that you'll see is the barcode and then the actual value below it so that if the barcode scanner is not able to scan that barcode for whatever reason, then the serial number or the number that you're trying to communicate is actually visible by text for somebody to enter into the system manually. So that's just something very common. Now, I need to talk to you about one last item that's going to make the barcode scanners work because if you were to try to take this page as it's as it sits right now and use barcode scanner it would not work what you need to do is actually indicate to a barcode scanner the beginning and the end of a barcode to do that there's a special character that we use and we append to both the beginning and the end of a barcode, but we put it inside of the barcode itself. And you'll see if we go back to the Barcodes Inc. website, he actually talks about this here at the bottom where it says tips for using the barcode font. He says, be sure to add an asterisk character before and after your text. So for example, asterisk, your text here, asterisk. So we need to, ask, uh, we need to add asterisks to the values that get printed on our barcodes. So to do that, I'm just gonna go back to the data tab for our text box where the uh, barcode is being printed from. And I'm gonna go into the expression builder here for it. And I'm just gonna say equals, add an asterisk as string and append it to the value. And then do the same thing to the end of the values. And just one other thing I like to do to make sure that this works is I like to wrap in this column name with uh, brackets because that just tells Access that that should be coming from a column in our query. And we'll just go ahead and click OK. And now let's go ahead and save this report and we'll take a look at it again. And you really can't tell much difference, but there is actually a bit of a difference. You'll see that there is a, uh, a line here at the beginning of each one of the barcodes. There's a line that starts it, and there's also a line that ends it. And you'll see that they're basically all identical at the very beginning and at the very end. And it tells the barcode scanner to, that this is the beginning and this is the end of that particular code. So unfortunately, I don't have a barcode scanner to demonstrate that this now works to you. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. Or you can go ahead and download the work file, which is going to just be this database. And you can go ahead and print out this report and scan it with your barcode yourself and you can see how the whole thing works uh, and you can see that you'll be able to uh, print out the values now one thing i do want to tell you is that some barcode scanners do not require the beginning asterisk so that first asterisk that we put in there may not be necessary but the end asterisk almost always is so just kind of double check and make sure, test out your barcodes and the values that you put in with your scanners to make sure that they uh, print out the correct values for you and you don't you know, have an extra asterisk uh, appended to every one of your values because that might cause some problems with your system. So there you guys go. If you have any questions about this video, about this topic, please feel free to drop me a line in the comment section below and I will do everything I can to answer those questions. And please, if you know an answer to someone's questions, 
uh, please feel free to jump in yourself and answer them. I can't always get to everybody's question in a timely manner, so any additional assistance that you guys can give is more than welcome. Uh, and if you guys did find this video helpful, you liked it, uh, please like the video, you know, add your little thumbs up and go ahead and favorite it and subscribe to my channel so that you guys can get more videos on access and other programming topics that I talk about all the time. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.